I joined my primary school back in 2009. That's when I, is it 2009 or two, 2006? Is when I, I joined the class one in Monambo Primary School. Boy. So I learned there for three good years, from standard one, two, and three. Then because of the challenges we were having in the family, because my father and uh, my mother were separated, we were to go to so to make a uko 2009 when we joined primary school. Yeah, uko nyumbani. Well, I was in class four. So class four, ni kasoma class four, class five, six, seven, eight. Then the problem came sasa kwa family kwa kuna challenge kidogo ya finances. So ku join secondary school ni kwa a bit pro, a, a bit a bit a problem. And uh, nilikuwa nataka sana mimi a boarding school. So my grandfather Kajichangachanga Pokidogo together with my father. They took to, they took me to Alan Jomba Secondary School and I collocated in Bongoni. So Nikasumabo form one, form one, and form two. Then later Kosabia Shida za familia na kukosa mapeni nika drop out of school. I drop out of school because I have issues of family. So my father can be a kosabu kwenye say the best thing is utafute kitu amoto kina zaku help ko life. So I can peleka ni some computer. So hapo ni kanza kusoma computer ni kasome ya boy pan. So ni kasoma computer ni ka earn my first certificate on computer. Then ni kasoma this is not enough. Ni kasoma ICT. Um, ICT and in information technology. So I Malaysia. I left Malaysia. My my story na comp na ni na ni. Story actually came me shyvo. So I came to which is my dream. Na kumbuka back in 2017. Asapo ni metoka shule ni konge. Ni kwa ni ko ni mianza kupanda na ma besto konge. So ujana ndo mianza kuwa ni mianza kuwa ni kuandaftanda ma youth. So happen nika nika jingiza kwa vitu ambazo wazifai I became drunk nika kuwa mlevi mmoja atari Kumbuka I'm still I'm still na na, na chess dream yangu so nilikuwa naimba kwa one of the churches I remember before that before before ni toke ushago kuna one of my friends my long time friend alikuwa alikuwa naimba kwa certain church ilikuwa inaitwa IFC church Kariako So akaniambia bro Manze kwa sababu wewe uko talented manze kuja voi unaza unaza tafuta job pale na unaza jendeleza kimaisha so nikaja kule nikaja voi nikawa na stay na dadi kwa sababu dad, our dad anaishi voi alikuwa anafanya kazi voi so we stayed there nikawa life inaendelea but niko kwa niko kwa kwa, kwa hii church but sio ni benefit so nikaanza na pia nini musically i'm not growing i'm still stagnant so nikawa na the best way Acha mimi ninge mtani. So nikaanza kujiingiza tu na maband band tu hapo mtani voi. So I met a friend. A friend alikuwa anaitwa Devi. So we became friends. Pale alikuwa anga ni mse tu wa life ni 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 ni. So pia alikuwa ni kijana mdogo. So we became friends. I remember tulikuwa a group. Tulikuwa mse mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Evans, alafu kwa Devi, alafu kwa mimi, alafu kwa na mse mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Anton. So we were four of us. So to kwa tunaenda ngati tukienda na machaches tukiimba 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 but by then atuko to save ile yani ile ku save ile ku save like for real yani to save so to kwa tunajingira tu na master na store so nakumbuka out of depression na zile circumstances nilikuwa na face kwa life na venye napitia zile mambo napitia kwa kwa, kwa nyumba na family ikani depress kanifanya baraka nikajingiza kwa vitu zenye zifai i became drunk nikaona kunywa pombe kwa pombe na leo na chonga na vita bangi nikajiingiza kwa vitu tu wazifai so dream yangu kwa chivu ya ku, kwa mwanamuziki ikawa is like ina, inaenda ikipotea kwa sababu nimekuwa tu naimba tu yani haini benefit mahali so nikakaa 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 life ikaendelea so ikawa mimi niku shift niko voi niko bara niko voi nimeenda ushago so kuna time nikafika point nikawa nikafukuzwa na dada dada kanambia ah umekosoa road itabidi umetoka kwa nyumba yangu katembeza mku so kabidi nitoke kwa nyumba dadi kwa sababu inabidi ni ajusi jasolie mimi kama mtoki huyu 
remember at that time sijafika miaka zangu za eh, za ku za kuwa nje kama bado I'm still young I remember I was in, I was 17 and 18 years so nikawa sina place ya kukaa so nikawa naishi kama best naishi kama best naishi kama best life ikawa kwa ngumu nakumbuka kuna time nilikuwa na lapaka kwa mapipa kwa takataka life ikawa poor but uh, inside me bado ile talent iko sababu niko na believe na chenye god amen pia ni something special so bado still ile ta, ile talent ilikuwa iko so bado still niko na ndani kiimba imba ni bado niko sija chakula i remember nikawa i remember pia pile pale pale church penye nilikuwa naenda nikawa nimekorofishana na watu yule kiongozi tukakorofishana nikatoka tu yani nikaanza kuji kujia suria life ka kwa ngumu so hapo ndo time nikakaa nikafikiria kwamba kweli my dad and mom wali mess up ku tuachilia si tukakuwa peke yetu so nika I remember that day nikawa niko nimetoka mahali town nikampigia my mom nikamwambia mom i'm coming to mombasa so hapo ndo nikatoka nikaanda mombasa so i stayed with my mom for some time but still habits zile nilikuwa nazo nikiwa huko bado niko nazo so ikafika point paka nikiwa Mombasa ni kidogo ilikuwa naelekea paka kuanza ku take drugs kuanza kuvuta cocaine na hivyo but then god mungu alinishikilia nilipofika kule nilipata another family yenye wali accept na wakani wakaniweka kwa church so namshukuru sana pastor Mrs. Soj ali ni help sana so nakumbuka sasa ni i'm still a teenager so niko niko a teenager na nimeanza kukuzwa sasa to that spiritual life wakaanza kunielezea life nyingine na wakaanza kunitoa at least ile nini back then hawa wase wangu mabeshi zangu pia wana hustle look bado still habits ni zile zile underground so i remember one day it was on january 20, 20, 2018 a friend of mine by the name devia kanipikia kanambia bro uko wapi ni kombani kwa mbasa kanambia bro fanya hivi manze kuna pasa nimepata na naye huko manze manze ni kama ata to help manze to change our lives for good So that's when sasa tukaamua na Devi to shift to to Mwatate. Okay by then by then at the first time criticism bado still iko there. Ni ile tu they can't speak it lakini to the look of their face bado they are seeing like Tony bado ko still that way. But kuna wengine wame wame realize kwamba kuna changes. Kwa sababu since I came to Mwatate nimekuwa different sana hata kuliko venye nilikuwa. Kwa sababu appearance ime ime change eh venye nilikuwa na beef na the beef plan nimetokea and this is thanks to my brother Devian our pastor pastor Sebastian Mazurizo kelekele hapa dadadada usiguse mitaio